This is Twit. All right, I'm going to play quiz time. I'm going to show you oh boy. A, a flow chart. All right. And you're going to tell me mm -hmm. what that flow chart means. Okay, I know exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about? You know where I'm going with this? I think I do. Yes, I think you Does do. Have are there guns in the flow chart? Uh, no, there ought to be. <laughs> no. There ought to be. No, no okay. uh, This right. flow chart. Oh, I see. This flow chart. Start. Yeah. User opens file with VBA macros and an MOTW yep. message of the <laughs> what attribute. So this is funny because we just discussed Visual Basic and whether it had any future. And you know what? It kind of does because <laughs> Microsoft used to use a version of Visual Basic for macros across Office. And uh, those little uh, programmable nuggets of gold <laughs> can, uh, can be used to uh, compromise your computer. So Microsoft said, um, I don't They've, remember when this was, we talked was last about this, year or early this year. That we talked about this uh, on uh, Security Now yesterday. Yeah. And, uh, and and I had to correct yeah. Steve because he didn't have the latest. No surprise because Microsoft's okay. been waffling. Yep. <laughs> so oh, yeah. fill us in. Yeah, yeah. What's the history here, Paul? Yeah. The, the I don't remember when it was, but Microsoft said that they were going to basically get rid of, or, you know, block. Yeah. VBA I think macros, in April uh, that were obtained Around from April. third parties yeah. over the internet. It was in April, and then yeah. business. And this is a one of those things. Cry, I think they're so reliant well, on it. Depending on who you are, right? It depends on who you are, like how you how you react to this, right? I think like a lot of us would have been like, "Are there still VBA macros? Right? <laughs> like, is that a thing? <laughs> is that really still a thing? I guess it is. Because remember, VBA. Yeah. This is um, this might be twenty five years ago. VBA was going to be replaced by VB script at one point. And they use mm -hmm. VBScript for other things, but that was a disaster. And by the way, yep. a security disaster. So VBA macros kind of continued. Um, and we just talked about this last week, more recent, um, or a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. whenever it was, uh, more recent um, ways to expand uh, office capabilities are you know, through new web technologies, right? Uh, but VBA macros are still around. And I guess, yeah, if you're a business and you hear that, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa hold on a second. <laughs> what are you doing? We use these things. And uh, apparently enough of them complained that Microsoft said, okay, we'll, we'll back off for now. They, they still intend at some point to block VBA macros in what they call the current channel of uh, mm -hmm. Microsoft 365. But as of today, they've, they, they this date, that, I think it was supposed to happen Tuesday, right? Was that the day? Yeah, I think uh, so. Uh, past yeah. Tuesday, probably. Yeah. Well, wait yeah, a minute. Yeah, so because because off and according said, okay, to they, Carly Page writing for TechCrunch, Microsoft has reversed its reversal. Okay. They did. Right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. So, yeah, so what is what is it currently, so, Mary Jo? Um, <laughs> What's the current? No, so, so um, the latest oh, I geez. know is they are going to roll this out at some point. But what, what everybody was complaining about was right. when they changed their mind and said, oh, actually, we're not going to do this. A lot of um, security professionals were like, wait a minute, you were going to do the right thing by blocking this. Yes, and Steve now was you celebrating have said, it. Yes. Right, right, now you said you're not right. going to do it at all. And all you're saying is the reason is user feedback. But they didn't say what, so what was the user feedback that made you undo it? Then when everybody complained about them undoing it, they came back and said, oh no, we still are going to do it. <laughs> we just, <laughs> we don't know when, and we won't talk about what the user feedback was that led us to right. undo do the good decision of getting rid okay. of these. So you yeah. so you can still with group policy uh, do it. You can. And uh, yeah. the the new system was going to be you had a, instead of having a big button that said you know enable macros, which yeah. was by deemed by most right. that's a, a little too easy. Uh, and people could be fooled. Well, that's into like when you go to an button. alcohol say it says, "Are you 21?" And you're like, "Yeah, yeah sure." I'm 21. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. the, the yes problem or no. was the phishing <laughs> sites and so forth would say, okay, yeah. now we want you to be able to win this great mm -hmm. prize, but you're going to see a button in a second. Make sure you click enable to win the great prize. Yeah. And people just go, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they click the, so then they changed it. So you had to actually go in the document properties. You still could yeah. enable macros, but you had to go into document properties, check a box. Yeah. And that's the right way to do it from the point of view of security professionals. But I think obviously big businesses said, well, I want to have to train our users that mm -hmm. now they have to do this. We use macros. We know they're safe. So that's when that flow chart appeared showing <laughs> showing the future. I, By the way, I've looked up MOTW and it stands for Mark of the Web as opposed to Mark of the Beast. What is, can you, do you know what MOTW, Mark <laughs> yes. of the Web 
is no, but I, I'm, I can guess because it's some the, sort of policy. This is referring to externally sourced, um, v, like VBA or um, scripts that come from outside your organization, like untrusted sources. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it must it must have something. It's just they some have funny the mark way of, of the beast. It's, uh, okay, fine. They have the mark of the beast yeah. because they're, they're from the internet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so there is, so this is in the Microsoft blog post. The, so it sounds like, yeah, what well, we understood that was onerous. Some businesses didn't like it. So we're going to, for now, we're not going to do it, but we're going to do it in the long run. Is that what it is, Mary yeah. Jo? We're going to do it yes. eventually. Okay. Yeah. We don't know when. Right. They won't give us a date right. or a year. Nothing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. we, we got that cleared up. <laughs> yeah, sort of. because Steve was one of those people who was saying, "Oh, this is you know about time Microsoft should have done yeah. this years he ago." He was happy, right? But security yeah. experts, there's often this balance between security and convenience. Security mm-hmm. experts are always going to say, "Well, it doesn't matter if it's inconvenient; you got to do right. it." And uh, and businesses yeah. then say, well, "Wait, you know, that's not going to work for us." 